Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cute Noob, and we are going to be doing the treasure map in Fish. So, I got the treasure map from Moosewood, which is over here. Um, I was just fishing, minding my own business, and out of nowhere, I got a treasure map. So, it took me about 70 catches to get a, a treasure map. I wasn't trying to get it. So, maybe there's like a 1 in 70 chance of getting a a treasure map it's actually quite rare um but once you have a treasure map i'm gonna try and complete it for you guys so we got driftwood okay so what we need to do to activate the treasure is to get on the boat if you need to buy gps what you need to do is come to moosewood that's where you spawn anyway <coughs> and then walk up up here and then head straight down to the pond over here and there should be a gps on the chair and oh buy the gps for a hundred dollars or cents or whatever it is um i have a boat or a ship or whatever and you want to spawn it and we are going to um forsaken shores because right now the treasure map is incomplete as you can see there's some question marks we need to fix the map because there are some incomplete numbers. So it tells us to go to Forsaken Shores. So we are going there right now. So basically, in the treasure, I feel I heard you get a new rod, um, and I do, and I, I guess like baits and other things like that. I'm not really sure what you get inside it, but it's definitely worth it. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. So once we get to Forsaken Shores, I'll show you guys what you need to do next. Okay, now that we're at Forsaken Shores, it's literally just north of Moose Moosewood. Um, it's just north of there. We're going to park up our boat over here and just get to the docks. Um, so we need to get to the top of that mountain and there should be a cave inside there. So let's just go there. So you go through here and you jump up, go through here. I believe you can jump up over here as well, or you can take the long way around. Oh, the people are fishing here. Oh, there's some players fishing here. Let's see what kind of fish we can get here. Let's see what kind of fish. I'm going to fish for a bit and just see what we can get here. There are some high levels fishing here. This must be a really good fishing spot. Okay, let's fish here. Ooh, people are getting some cool loot here. There's some high levels fishing here. Uh, let's see. Seaweed? Let's do that one more time. Let's try and get a fish. Seaweed? I think seaweed is bait. I think that is used as bait. I've got a really good rod, it's called the fast rod, and basically I have basically a 50% catch rate, um, or 50% speed I should say. A common crate, oh wow, this place is good for crates, everyone's getting crates. 97 coins, okay let's do one more, that was kind of fun. Let's try and catch a fish, oh my god look at that fish that guy's getting, wow that fish looks so awesome. Okay shake, shake, shake. So I've got the, oh wow, I've got the fast rod. It's a 50% extra um, catching speed. So I don't need to click shake for too long before I get a fish. Oh my God, this place is just crates. Oh my God, it's like a crate section. A section you go for, that's why they're here, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's go up over here. Um, and as you can see, there's the NPC that will fix our map. Um, also, you need a GPS. Oh my god. You need a GPS as well. So you can buy that at... I saw one in Moose Grove, but I'll show you guys. You need to buy a GPS. Make sure you buy a GPS at Moose Grove. Okay, let's talk to him. Can you fix my map? $250. Oh, you need to hold the map. 
Okay. How do I talk to him and... How do I talk to him? Okay, so I had to like click through the box. Your map is now fixed. So I had to like click through the box, like over here. Because I have to hold the map, but the map's blocking the NPC. So I had to like click on the side. So like, let me show you how to do it. So what you want to do is click it like over here because you have to hold the map. So now that I've got my coordinates, you need a GPS to find out the coordinates, which is so annoying. So we have the coordinates now. <clears throat> And we need to follow the GPS. So X is 1,700. So <clears throat> let's figure out how to do this. 1,700. Oh, what at minus? So we actually need to go to the opposite direction. At 1,000. What is it? 1,000. Oh, minus 1,700. Oh, it's minus 1,700. So we are nearly at minus 1,700 over here. So now that I'm at 1,700, let me go to treasure map and go to Y 141. So Y is 141. Will Y move? I want Y. Oh, Y would have to be how high I am. Oh, okay. Y is how high I am. X axis, Y axis, blah, blah, blah. And Z, um, treasure map. Z is two, two, two. A two, two. So we need, ah, we need the Z to go. Down. I'm actually going a really bad. So I've been following my coordinates and I think I found the treasure. Um, oh my God, is that the treasure chest? Oh my God, I found it. I found the treasure. Oh my God. So I was following the GPS and the treasure map, um, the coordinates, and I have found the island. This is Rosita Island, I believe. Rosita, it might be different for everyone. I believe it's different for everyone. So it, this place might not be correct for you and your map, but it might be the same as well because there only there are only so many islands. So let's see what's inside. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I actually followed the treasure map. I thought I'd be too stupid to follow it, but I actually was able to follow it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, treasure! I need to take a screenshot. Okay, so let's open the treasure. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Three quality bake crate. Oh my god. Three quality bake crate, is that all? Okay, what did we get inside? Oh, these are... <coughs> These are some good, good ones. Super flakes. Great white shark spotted in the ocean. Oh my God, there's a great white shark in the ocean. 